Hey everybody in the VC, it's time for a um, a quick short vinyl update. Um, I've had these uh, most of these records probably about two or three weeks. I was that one that just came in. Oh, excuse me. Um, but um. Got a uh, warning in advance that uh, this is probably be probably the weirdest uh, vital update I'll ever do, um, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, okay, so um, I got just a small handful of um, of uh, records here, so I'll just I'll get started right. Um, Pavarotti with uh, two LP set and um, picked this up. The first three that I'm going to show, I picked up uh, at a thrift store uh, for a buck. And um, you know, these were actually in semi decent condition and you know, and for 33 cents. You know, uh, and the covers for the most part are in pretty good shape, so you know, I I thought it was worth it. This is one of those things, you know, um, it's one, it's another one of those um, influences from my childhood kind of thing, um, because it's you know, uh, you know, the music that uh, my grandmother listened to, um. And so that was really, you know, just kind of a, you know, pick it up uh, because of that. Um, these next two are going to be even weirder. This is um, TBN Favorites number three. Um, that's Trinity Broadcasting Network. It's a uh, uh, religious organization. And... Um, you know, it has a lot of, uh, you know, standard, um, you know, Christian standards um, here and, um, you know, still sealed in um, an excellent shape. So, again, 33 cents. Um, you know, no biggie. And, um, Layman Singers First Easter. Um, Figured that you know this is you know this is the kind of thing that you could you know people wouldn't get mad at me for putting this on the wall. Um, I, I mean you know I you know I you know, like, did church people and that kind of thing. So basically that's why uh, records not in, in very good shape, but you know that's something you can put that you can put on the wall. I'm not gonna yell that uh, for it, at least in my case. Um, but uh, Okay, and then this last one is, um, it's one that, um, it's an album that I've had before, just not on, um, vinyl, and it's, um, you know, it's one of those, you know, high time that it, it'd be in, um, because it's probably my favorite release, um, from this band, and it's, uh, L.A. Woman by the Doors, um, you know, I don't need to say anything about this, and I won't, uh, because it's just absolutely fantastic, and I believe Riders on the Storm was the first horror song I ever heard, and I in the car, and um, coincidentally, it was a stormy night and that hit and it just you know there's the um electric level there and so it's you know it's about high time that I got this into my collection. Um had the C D for years um and now finally I was able to 
snatch up on um, on vinyl and um, took a while because I wasn't interested in any of those reissues. Um, I was fortunate because I was able to get my hands on um, uh, the CD versions before they they did the re-release and did the added tracks and changed the pacing of the album. Um, and so before I got to it, I got um, I got those CD versions and. Um, so, I'm fortunate that I was able to do that because you don't you don't tinker with um, this music. So that's uh, the latest vinyl update, and eagerly awaiting um, D3 coming in the mail. And um, I will see you all later. Thanks, everybody.